Hey Mike, this is uh, Brett, and we're going to walk through the conversion of the blog from its current state of general blogginess into the new uh, super blog configuration. So what we kind of see here in the super blog area. There's going to be a couple areas that we're going to be focusing on. One is this content area, which is all powered by a new template that we've created to power the blog. The other is going to be this primary sidebar over here, which has a number of different things that controls the rules of what shows up and what doesn't show up on this page and on other pages on the site. So what we're first going to do is going to go into the admin area of the site. And for starters, I'm going to head to the pages of the site. And we're going to dig up the blog page on the site. That's this page here. So I'm simply going to type in blog and search for that page and wait for that to show up. We've got the super blog test page. And we're looking for the actual uh, blog blog page. There it is. And so we're going to come in here. We're going to edit this page and I'm going to do this kind of the slow way so that you can see what's going on. Now, as we look at this page and you can see the hyperlink here, uh, Crash Act road.com slash blog, same as what we've got uh, right in here. This particular page has nothing in it. There's actually no content there, nothing. And that's because, I'm going to minimize the inbound writer thing real quick. That's because down here in page attributes, we have this set up to show a template. Uh, this is a WordPress template called blog. And we're quite simply going to change that over to a different template called Superblog. Superblog the template is not the same as Superblog the test page, which is what we have here. I'm going to actually take this test page down uh, to avoid duplicate content issues and things like that, or just general confusion uh, after we go through this process. So first step, and there's going to be a couple steps. Some of them are going to be conversion. Some of them are going to be troubleshooting after the conversion just to make sure we've covered all our bases. So I'm going to come in here, and I'm going to hit Update. That's updating this particular page to the new template of Superblog. And now I'm going to come in here and I'm going to refresh our blog page. Again, just to make sure you know where we are. There. So the page I'm going to refresh this. And lo and behold, uh, a lot of this has already changed. We've already pulled in a lot of the items from Superblog. And you can see that new configuration uh, running here right now. What we need to do when we went through uh, Superblog test, we did a number of fine-tuning little things in here, and I just want to make sure that all the fine-tuning we did for the Superblog test page also shows up here in this uh, blog page. For example, uh, you'll notice on the blog page, uh, as I'm looking at it right now, uh, on meeting production tips does not show up on the blog page, uh, or it does show up on the blog page, but on I, it should be the second thing down. We're missing the IMAX section on the blog page. So we need to make a, an adjustment to that. And we're going to basically walk through each of these areas to make sure everything that we kind of talked about here does show up on the actual blog page. And in doing so, you'll kind of see how some of this stuff is kind of uh, managed and controlled. So going back into the admin area, I don't really need to do anything else on this actual blog page here. That's all I needed to do was change that template. And we could always easily change that back if we wanted to. My next step is going to be going into widgets. So that's in WordPress. Uh, hover over it and, and then go to widgets, second item down, in that pop out a little menu system. And this is going to look a little busy because uh, our widgets are getting more and more complex with the site. Our home page is powered by widgets. It's actually loading up uh, all the different widgets here on the right-hand side. Uh, these are just possible things here in the middle. These are actually the widgets that are running on the, on the website. But anyway, as I was saying, our home page is powered by widgets. So there's a widget that holds this slideshow, and there's a widget that holds uh, the item here about our clients, and there are uh, widgets here as well for each of these areas, and even down here in the bottom. So for our home page, we've got the home top left, home top right. Some of this may be familiar to you. The home bottom one, two, and three. 
and then the wide footer at the bottom of the home page or the bottom of the site in general. So those are the original uh, sidebars, if you will, that were on our site, and they held these little widgets, which can be dragged and dropped. That's the uh, slideshow right there on our home page. We've added some new sidebars, and within those sidebars, we've added uh, some new elements, some new widget widgets in those items. So on our blog page, our super blog page, and on our blog page, we've got a couple different sidebars. We've got a new narrow sidebar that goes just a little bit longer than the width of that text and another sidebar that goes about the width of this one and they both uh, run down until they run out of content and then they turn into a new extra wide sidebar at the bottom which is down here so within each of those we can have lots of different widgets in this uh, situation I've actually where we have a new widget and that widget has a title something we can manually control by typing in some new title if we like to uh, that will have a blue background. So each one of these blue uh, background things represents the start of a new widget which powers some sort of new content on the site. And we can see that in our widgets here. So there's a top left and a top right uh, up there and they're each supposed to run three widgets. And you can see the blog top left is supposed to have uh, some featured posts on uh, let's see on the uh, pharmaceutical meetings item and he, these are kind of the settings of what's supposed to display so it's supposed to go in and pull posts from the pharmaceutical meetings category and show the most two recent posts from there we could change that to three or four or ten if we wanted to and it's supposed to show the, the title of the post it's supposed to show some of the content from that article up to the first 200 characters uh, alternatively we could show uh, all of the content the entire article or an excerpt or none of the content or a number of different options there uh, it's supposed to show a featured image, which should be about 280 pixels wide uh, and 125 pixels tall when the image fits those dimensions. So as I come back here, we'll take a look at this. We actually have a rectangular image or an image that can be cropped down to a rectangular size. So it actually fits in here uh, for those dimensions. And then at the bottom of this widget, we have a area down here called Show Hide the Widget. And it actually has some specific rules for when this widget is supposed to display. Now, in general, uh, as things stand right now, the super blog template is live on two pages. One page called the blog page and another page called the super blog test page. So this template runs on both of these. So these widgets could conceivably show on both pages unless we change the rules in here. And to make that make a little bit more sense you'll notice that or we've previously noticed that the IMAX section is not showing up on the blog page at the moment so we need to figure out why that is they should all be showing the same thing unless we have a rule that's that's turned it off so when I go into this widget on the blog top right sidebar I find my on IMAX section again that's also powered by a category and it's the IMAX category and it's supposed to show two blog posts from that category show the title and, and basically a similar setup here as well. I want to go down and take a look at my rules because I suspect there's something in here uh, that is turned on or turned off that's preventing it from showing up on our blog page even though it shows up on our super blog page. So there's two little toggle things here. You can set the rules to either show specific pages when uh, the checkbox below is checked or hide them. This one was initially set to show it when it's checked. So I suspect, as I scroll down through here, I'm gonna, there's one section that shows our pages. Uh, at the start of it, it shows page types, like the front page is a page type, the archives page, those are all page types, and then there's specific pages, things that we've created in the content. And one of our pages is called blog, and that's not checked to show that particular section. So I'm gonna check that box, and as I scroll down some more, um, we'll see that the super blog test page was already set to show. That's why it was showing on super blog test. It was checked, but it wasn't showing on blog, which was not checked, but now is. If this starts to sound a little bit like an Abbott Costello routine, blame my parents. So I'm going to hit save there, and I'm going to come back and refresh the blog page. And now we see that the on IMAX section does show up at the top of this page. So our first two sections on pharmaceutical meetings and on IMAX, 
let's see, they both match. I'm going to go down to our next uh, two widgets and make sure that they match as well, which is on case studies and on meeting production tips. And as we look at this, uh, on meeting productions looks the same, but on case studies looks different. Now they both show up, so I want to show you why that is different. So in the blog top left section, uh, just to refresh your memory, we're dealing with the section over here. There's on case studies for the super blog page. Here it is for the blog page. We have the case studies item set for, there's our title on case studies and it's powered by the case studies category and it's supposed to show two and it's definitely showing two in both of them but they're not the same two. So why is that? Well the reason is we've ordered this by random. Normally we do things by the most recent so then it would be a date format but in this case we've actually set it to show random so it's randomly pulling from all the case studies that we have and every single time the blog pages is loaded or reloaded it will show a different two random case studies in this area so people won't always see the same thing twice and it's been a while since a case study has been built so this will actually kind of refresh that content kind of make it evergreen uh, if you will so that's why that's different it's supposed to be different nothing wrong with that in this particular case you could change it to most recently if you wanted to so now I'm gonna scroll down a little bit more our next section is the on meeting production tips so let's make sure that that is correct as we look at this both of those are showing up uh, same articles and there you have it now we move into the wide area where we have our latest articles now in this case we'll notice that it's a little different we've got these tag clouds which I initially put on the super blog test page because I wanted to uh, kinda get a sense for which categories had a lot of content in them I don't want to leave these tag clouds up on the live site where people will see them. So I'm going to come down in here and I'm looking in the blog middle section and in each of these I have a tag cloud one powered by categories and the other is powered by tags and I'm simply going to delete the tag cloud. I'm going to remove that widget from the sidebar. That was more of a, a tool for me to use while we were building this, not so much a tool or viewers to read. I'm not sure it does them much good one way or another. You can add it back if you like. It's a real simple thing to add. So I'm going to refresh that and now it skips the tag cloud and it goes into on the blog page on event production. So we don't have latest articles there. There's a little bit of a difference. So we're going to need to take a look at that and figure out what the difference is, what's powering that difference there. So we've got a slightly different result than what we have here. And I'm going to actually fail to refresh this page, so let's catch it up to since I removed those tag clouds. So as we scroll down, slightly different over here, so we're going to work to get that caught back up. We've got some interviews at the bottom, and on event production, this page is way down there at the bottom. So we've got several different sections that don't show up on our blog page that did show up on our super blog page. So that probably means we've got another rule where it was turned off we just need to simply turn it back on. Now when I built this there was a section in here I called the blog top section. It says top but it's actually not top anymore. I moved it down below the left and right sections and I will try to rename that if I can. So I want to check my rules and see if these items are set to show. This is set for show unchecked. This is the rule for show or hide this widget on any given page and we've got it set to show unchecked. If something's checked it should show up. So you can kind of include or exclude and blog was not checked. So as we look at it super blog was, I'm going to save it, close it, and I'm going to check that other item for featured posts. This was supposed to have shown a bunch of featured any this one wasn't set by any particular category, it was just all categories. Uh, and actually, let me back up a step. We've got latest categories. This is only supposed to show one article. And it's supposed to show a home page, uh, kind of a, a wide image with the title and 300 characters. Then right after that, it's supposed to show two more posts from all categories. So another, the next two latest articles skip the first one because that's already displayed here so this is getting a little complex 
and it's going to show wide images here. So that's kind of how that rule was uh, was controlled there. And as I scroll through, I'm going to see if the blog page shows up. Now it does. So we've just added two sections to the blog page that weren't uh, there previously. So if I refresh this, we should see some new things appear above this uh, on the event production area. So I'm going to hit refresh, scroll down to our wide area, and we see our latest articles. And there we've got our single article and then our two articles that follow that before it goes into a new section. Now, in this case, it's kind of backwards that I've got a small image here and a wide image here. I probably need to turn that around. So I'm going to come up here and I'm going to change this to a different sized featured image. I'm going to set that also to 610 by 300. I'm going to refresh this, scroll back down, and now that Doc Henley featured image is a lot larger. That would be wider if that were an image uh, that were rectangular and fit to this dimension. It's not, um, so there's it only fills up so much space. If it could be bigger, it would be, and it would it would go the full width of this. So you might want to think about uh, image sizes a little bit as you learn how to manage what goes in here. Generally speaking, we have this set to show mostly either large rectangles or small rectangles. If you've got square images, you might want to crop them into a rectangular shape, or you might want to put them on some background uh, image itself, kind of uh, do a, a little bit of real quick uh, snag it or Photoshop work or something like that. Don't spend more than five or ten seconds on it, but layer it on top of another image and then load it in as your featured image such that it's always rectangular. Put the big rectangular image in as the featured image, and then the WordPress program will scale it down whenever it needs to squeeze it into a smaller area like this. But it's usually easiest to deal with featured images if you're always using the same shape. Rectangle, 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 or square, square, square. So let's see, now we've got the first three articles should be, refresh this page two, these all should be matching now. And they are. Note this particular article here doesn't have a featured image, which is why uh, it does have an image, but this isn't a featured image. If we come in and we take a look at this particular article, we see that there's uh, an embedded article, but this wasn't loaded into our own uh, website. This was curated in. So whenever someone loaded this curated article in, they did not add a featured image down here. Something to practice that a little bit. It's not the end of the world, but that's why there's no image here. So as we scroll down here, now we see that on event production is the next item here, but on this one we've got something called more articles from around the blog. So again, we're missing uh, a section of blog articles. So we need to figure out where those went. And so come down here. It's probably just something that wasn't turned on. So we need to Again, come down to our rules. We've got it set to show things if the page is checked to show it. Uh, these items, if the widgets were set up for any other pages, we could put these into some other page on the website. It's not, but it could be done relatively easily. So we'll save that and we'll refresh that page again. And these articles, the more articles from the blog, should show up next. There they are, more articles from the blog, and as we scroll down, this continues until the next section, which is on event production on the blog page. And it's interviews here, so we've got to check our interviews widget next. So I'm going to close that one, open up interviews. It, we're set to show three the most recent three interviews currently. We just want to make sure that it will show on our, oops, passed it up, our actual blog page. Save that, close it. While I'm in here, we know we've got on event production. We've seen that several times. So let's see if we refresh it. After interviews, should be on event production, followed by on business. So let's see interviews, on event production, on business. So we're matching so far. On attendee experience, still matching. On green meetings on hybrid meetings, 
on training, on training, and more, more posts on the training from that particular category. So we have now matched the blog page, the content area of the blog page, to our super blog page. Now there's one more area we need to check, and that's just to make sure that the sidebar on the far right, this area over here, this is called the primary sidebar, we need to make sure that all the little edits that we did over here also show up over here. So we're just going to kind of check it from top to bottom. We've got the header area with our little uh, social icons up here at the top. That seems to be matching. Our contact us, play, and the meetings podcast ad uh, are all also matching. So I'm going to scroll down just a little bit to the work with us section and compare this to there. It's a match all the way down to email subscription is the same. Check our sponsors, make sure that they look the same. So we've got the same sponsors on the blog. Okay, we've got a little bit of a difference going on here. So on our blog page, we've got recent articles. However, here we have uh, something slightly different. We've got on Superblog, we've got people we've helped here, followed by recent shows. And over here, we have recent articles, followed by the people we've helped. So we've got an extra uh, item in here. We've got, this is the same, but bet before on the blog page, uh, or on the super blog page, we don't have this section. I'm going to leave it, because I'd rather leave something than take away from the site at the moment. We can always add it back. Uh, but I'm going to leave that for the moment. We don't have this recent shows section that I can see yet. I'm going to double check. We do have this tag cloud here, which is additional. Oh, there's recent shows. So we've got recent shows here, which is fine. You'll notice that the site, the blog section, is a lot longer, so it doesn't hurt to have this extra content. Uh, one question, though, might be, uh, do we need, this is from the archives, maybe we should move that further down or move it out all together. So we're going to go up to our primary sidebar and we're going to take a look and let's see where's from the archives. It's right here. I'm going to move that down here. I'm going to move the tag cloud that's there down here as well. And I'm going to refresh this page. I'm trying to get our most important stuff towards the top, but I also don't want to leave too many blank areas on the right. If you think about the copy editing process, uh, like in the magazine, people are always trying to make sure there's something there that will get people's attention. Now, these archive articles don't have featured images, it looks like. Some of these are randomly pulling in from uh, old items, I believe. And so, if they had a featured image, this might be a little more compelling. So if you think about it, you got a person that comes into the blog, and they're scrolling down and they're looking around for something interesting. And as they come down, their eyes are scanning kind of left to right and downward, left to right and downward maybe they see something and they click on it and they go to that article or maybe they see something over here don't kill your attendees that catches their eye and they come in here and click that but as they go left and right downward they've always got something for their eye and mouse and attention to focus on and click on as they go through it gets a little sparse towards the end and then towards the very bottom we've got some white space so we could actually add some more things in the primary sidebar here we could increase the number of things shown so instead of showing whatever the numbers here we might up it by two or three articles that might help or we could take out a couple things over here so something to think about it's something to play around with and it can all be managed from in this from within this widget section right here these are all the existing widgets uh, over here we have the other things that you could build a new widget with so if you wanted to add uh, you know let's say uh, a new slideshow and put it into the blog area you could you could do that or if you wanted to pull in more featured posts off of a particular category, you could do that as well. You can also drop ads in between any of the sections on this page. So after, before interviews, you might want to put in some sort of uh, banner ad. Could be from your sponsor, or it could be maybe a, a wider version of this, or maybe some new thing talking about your work doing podcasts for conferences. You can drop those in. It doesn't have to be all content through here. You might put in an ads from time to time within this section as well, not just on the right. 
and get people used to the concept that good stuff could be anywhere within any of these three sidebar areas or any area of the site so that they're constantly kind of on their toes paying attention and trying to get you something useful out of it. So now that we've got that set up the last step is we're gonna get rid of that super blog test page not the template but the page so I'm gonna go come in here and go back to pages and here's super blog test I'm going to uh, simply hit the trash button send it to trash but I'm not gonna empty trash just yet real easy for us to create this all over again if we wanted to but I'm gonna leave it there just in case we want to come back and, and, and restore it and compare things back and forth so now if I come in here and I try to refresh this page it's gonna give us a 404 that page can't be found anymore which is good uh, it does, doesn't really exist we don't need it uh, and we don't really want to confuse anybody with it so there you have it. We've got our new blog all set up and ready to go. Um, as a final point, you might want to consider whether or not to put the meetings podcast as a as a sub menu item over here. It was at one time. I think it's gotten pulled out to get a little more attention. But given what we're doing here on this super blog page now, um, you may or may not need it. Uh, or we could come in and create a new page called meetings podcast and also power it. Uh, with something like a, a widgetized page like this, we could build a new special one just for meetings podcast, or we could use this super blog template, just turning it on and setting up the rules to make sure that we know what shows up there, but not here, there, but not here, either, however you want to look at it. So there you have it. We're all set up, and I will uh, get this video over to you so that you can see it, review it, and, and start to uh, grok what's going on with the new and improved uh, Grass Shack Road site. Wish you all the luck, and I will talk to you soon.